Good morning children. Let me continue the class. Already we have revised physics. Then what are the questions will come in this uh, series and parallel circuit only diagram question. For diagram we have conduct, we have given 10 marks. Series and parallel circuit diagram question will go for chemistry. The chemistry two lessons, one is level lesson number 12, other one is lesson number 13. As I said in the earlier, if you, if you uh, don't have any lessons, you are not getting the lessons. It's better to inform us before the exam. At the time of exam, you don't need to inform. If the lesson has not come, the question and answers have not come in the online, you have to inform us, we will make a uh, resolution for it. Okay? What solution we can find out? We can find out for the chemistry lesson number 12. That is in page number 137, 136, chemistry question and answers, atomic structure. Question and answers given. Hmm? Choose the correct answer as usual. Choose the correct answer. Fill in the blanks. Match. Answer briefly. And uh, balance the following chemical equation. Everything will be as it is. There is no detail answer. Water less. Okay, these two lessons only. Uh, lesson number 12 and lesson number 13. Lesson number 12, that is atomic structure. It's in page number 136. In this lesson, uh, page number 136, Choose the correct answers I gave already. In the beginning I said first you have to write the option, afterwards only you have to go for the answer. First one, B, definite proportion. You, you just see, already they said it's not come to you, you never see. Choose. B, definite proportion. Actually, this is a revision only. Already answers are given. Suppose in case you are not getting it, you are missing it. So, we are giving again. Second one, cathode rays are made up of C, negatively charged particle. And next one, in a water, hydrogen and oxygen are in the combined ratio of 1 is to 8. Option is 3. Then option is A. 1 is to 8. The fourth one. Which of the following statements be made by Dalton? Answer D. All atoms of an element are alike. All atoms of elements are alike. And fifth one, in all atoms of an element, the atomic and the mass number are same. Option A is the correct answer. The atomic and mass numbers are same. Okay? And fill in the blanks. The next one. First one is atom. Already gave the answer, but you are complaining last uh, last uh, thing. 
uh, the answers are not given. That's why change the change the question paper. Hmm? Atom is the smallest particle of an element. Second one, an element is composed of same kind of atoms. Same, same kind of atoms. The third one, an atom is made up of proton, electron, and neutron. Neutron, proton, P R O T O N, electron, E L E C T R O N, neutron, N E U T R O N. Okay. And the fourth one, a negatively charged ion is called anion. Positively charged ion is called cation. And fifth one, dash is a negatively charged particle, electron is a negatively charged particle. Proton is deflected towards the negatively charged plate. Negatively charged plate. Okay. Finish writing. Atom, same kind of same kind of proton, electron, and neutron. Anion and cation, electron, negatively charged particle. Negatively charged plate. Okay. Then match the following. Answers given, but you all said not given for you, that's why. Answer briefly. Uh, in this, all the answer briefly, everything is omitted. Only I have to give sixth and seventh one. What is the chemical equation? It's in page number. Answer briefly. Only as per the government syllabus, only 6th and 7th one I have to give. In 6th answer, what is, what is a chemical equation? It's in page number 133. <coughs> chemical equation page number 133. The first paragraph, under the heading chemical equation, a chemical equation is, is a shortened representation of chemical reaction with the help of chemical symbols and formula. Chemical reaction is shortened representation of chemical reaction with the help of chemical symbols and formula. Okay, yeah. And only two short answers. And seventh one, write the names of the following compounds. Directly you copy down CO carbon monoxide. One means mono, two means di carbon monoxide. C for carbon, O for oxide. So how many oxygen there? Only one oxygen. So carbon monoxide. Next one is N2O. The two is the valency of nitrogen. So this is nitrous oxide. Okay, and third one, NO2, here yeah, listen children, yeah, N2, that is the valency of nitrogen is 2, how many oxygen there, only one oxygen, so that is nitrous oxide, whereas in the second compound, NO2, that is oxygen is how many atoms of oxygen combined there, 2 oxygen, so this is nitrous, so nitrous, this is nitrous, nitrous oxide, this is 2 oxide, so nitrogen dioxide. Di 
nitrogen dioxide okay next one is pcl3 this is a this is b this is c d pcl3 that is pcl5 sorry it's pcl5 c for potassium cl for chlorine phi no potassium pentachloride phi means what penta so sorry phosphorus phosphorus potassium k only no phosphorus penta chloride pcl5 phosphorus penta chloride okay just write down clearly next one next one is answer the following uh, roman number 5 first one is not given omitted second one write the chemical formula for the following compounds first one a aluminium sulfate aluminium sulfate aluminium al sulfate so4 aluminium sulfate this is capital so two elements join together means first one first element aluminium a capital l is small one then sulfate s is capital letter and oxygen is in small so4 clear next one is silver nitrate silver formula is ag nitrate no3 children listen while writing formulas or symbols we have to write as it is aluminium a capital i said sulfur s yes. the same like silver nitrate a ag silver no3 nitrate ag should be a must must be capital and the second element nitrogen the beginning letter should be in capital letters silver nitrate next one is magnesium oxide magnesium mg oxide o its capital magnesium oxide fourth one is barium chloride barium b a chloride c l so here b capital c capital underlining words and all what capital aluminium sulfate clear so two elements together the first symbol of the element should be in capital aluminium a sulfate yes they both should be in capital the silver nitrate ag a capital nitrate n capital magnesium oxide m capital o also in capital letter barium chloride b and c both are in capital letters clear you are writing like this only i can give the marks or else no marks for that on third one write the skeleton equation for the following skeleton means you no need to balance you can write the equation alone so if you are not writing just copy down ha huh? skeleton equation third one in a uh, carbon plus oxygen carbon dioxide okay carbon formula is c oxygen o here carbon dioxide co2 so balancing means one carbon one carbon oxygen here two so we have to write here two carbon dioxide okay next one is
phosphorus plus chlorine chlorine gives phosphorus pentachloride phosphorus already we have seen the formula p chlorine cl phosphorus pentachloride penta means what five so we have to balance like this okay and c sulfur plus oxygen sulfur dioxide sulfur formula is yes oxygen o2 sulfur dioxide is o2 and d magnesium plus hydrogen hydrogen chloride huh? magnesium use magnesium chloride plus hydrogen magnesium formula is what mg plus hydrogen chloride hcl gives magnesium chloride plus hydrogen hydrogen never stands alone so we have to write h2 mgcl h2 so hydrogen we are balancing h2 here what is there how many hydrogen atoms there only one so we have to place two in front now two hydrogen two chlorine when the number is added in the front it's applicable for all the elements which are followed so the cl also should be here so magnesium chloride plus hydrogen this is actually skeleton equation if it is balanced we have to balance magnesium also but they are asking skeleton just you should make a frame okay this is over now we have to go for balance the following chemical equations our children there is no detail answer in this so the equations only will be given as what five mark question so be thorough with the symbols and the equations Okay children let me continue in another class